Hey, it's Meat Sandwich from the Boris and Robin Show, and it's time to take a look at the box office this weekend with Meat at the Movies. So, it's a big weekend for fans of bold, inventive, original science fiction. So, a big weekend for me, anyway, and maybe a couple other people. Uh, there are two sci-fi movies out this weekend that I've been looking forward to for a really long time. The first one is called Annihilation. Uh, this is the new movie from director Alex Garland, who is the writer behind movies like 28 Days Later and Sunshine, before making his directorial debut a couple of years ago with the amazing Ex Machina. This is based on a book of the same name and stars Natalie Portman as a woman whose husband goes missing and she has to lead a team into a mysterious unknown area to find him. Oscar Isaac plays her husband and the movie also stars some great actresses like Jennifer Jason Leigh, Gina Rodriguez, and Tessa Thompson. Now earlier reviews have been incredibly positive saying the movie is a tense head trip, weird in the style of 2001 A Space Odyssey or Andrei Tarkovsky's Stalker. Uh, this is the kind of movie that is designed to be seen and heard on the biggest screen possible and it's the one I'll definitely be going to the theater to see this weekend. Uh, the other big sci-fi movie this weekend is one I wish I could see in the theater, but I'll have to settle for it being a Netflix original. It's called Mute. And it's a movie I've been following the development of for almost 10 years at this point. Uh, director Duncan Jones directed a great movie called Moon way back in 2009. And ever since, he's been talking about Mute, a separate story that also exists in the same universe. Now, he's finally been given the chance to actually make the movie. Thanks, Netflix. It stars Alexander Skarsgård as a mute man in the future searching for his missing girlfriend who gets wrapped up with a pair of army surgeons on a mission of their own. The surgeons are played by Paul Rudd and Justin Thoreau, and the movie's visual style looks heavily influenced by Blade Runner. It's getting a limited theatrical release, but everybody should be able to stream it right now on Netflix. Finally, this weekend also sees the release of Game Night, a new mystery comedy movie starring Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams as a couple who go to a murder mystery party that turns into an actual mystery to solve. It's getting pretty solid reviews, and I thought the trailer was actually very funny. It's got a solid cast that includes Kyle Chandler, Jesse Plemons, and Danny Houston, and it sounds like there are a ton of twists that keep the momentum of the movie going, even when it maybe doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So you really can't go 